Hey buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Mo Oh my god, excuse me, <laughs> as Mongolia. Um, I think we are going to keep Preslav and that's because there is an encampment here and there is the Oracle here and there's already a holy site and stuff. Um, it would be okay to liberate it, but I think I'm just going to keep it. Now, I also need to maneuver my governors around. Uh, it turns out Takamatsu actually is in the list, it's just in an inconvenient place. Although, I think the loyalty here should be just fine. Um, I'm going to put one guy in Preslav, that's going to be Magnus. Or sorry, um, Victor. <clears throat> and then the Yang, I'm going to put her in Takamatsu just to secure the loyalty in there. Um, now, we might lose Shen Yang, which is a, a bit of a problem, but that's okay, because we have units in position to take it back immediately. We finished the... Aqueduct in Ulaanbaatar, which means that the city is going to grow a little bit. Um, in terms of what would be useful, I'd actually like to move the Yang here to uh, Ulaanbaatar and then have Reina take up the position in Preslav, I think. No, sorry, in Takamatsu. So I think that works a little bit better for my current layout. Um, in terms of Ulaanbaatar, I think I want to... I think I just want to spam builders in here. So that I can develop my lands. So I think that's what we're going to do. I will quickly grab a trader and then go for builders. I'll grab the trader because that'll give time for Liang to establish herself in that city. Uh, here, we're going to grab a monument. You're going to go here and then pillage this so that our gold income is a little bit uh, more secure. I would like to get more uh, knights. It's not entirely possible right now. I need to take out Yokohama. I'm going to take a moment here to heal up on these guys. You can go there and then promote. You're healing up. You're waiting there. I'm going to bring one catapult to the north. And then I have one catapult coming down south. I think I'd like a knight to come this way too to help with this city kill. Uh, that will mean I'll need to like move a unit into Takamatsu. That's very odd that you decided to go this way up when you could easily go straight onto that tile. I'm very confused by that. Um, so I think I get more value if I bring my great general to the north. Uh, do I want to chop here? Not yet. I want to wait until that city is established with uh, Magnus. Magnus is established in it, rather. Okay, you guys can start moving now. You're going to swap there. You're healing up. That's fine. You're staying there. You have one build charge. Okay. See what might be useful for me to do with this build charge. I guess we could go sit on one of these, this forest here for the capital to help chop out a couple of districts real quick. So this is what I was expecting to happen. Um, we can put this, we can actually put this to our advantage, uh, surprisingly. We should be able to turn this into a kill on a caravel that we wouldn't otherwise normally be able to kill. And there we go. It's going to mean this city is like super like crushed in terms of its growth and stuff. But it means we're killing those caravels. And now we just need to kill the one in this city. Um, I'd like another knight down here. But that's going to have to be a thing that happens over time as I bring these guys up from the, from the back. You go sit in that city. Um, I don't think an aqueduct, well actually an aqueduct would matter in this city, so I think I'll trade a mine for an aqueduct, because this city has really really bad growth um, in terms of housing and stuff, so that's something we want to rectify. Okay, we're going to grab our Ordu, we want that extra movement on our cavalry units, 
We don't want to chop there yet until Magnus is established. I will repair that ma uh, farm. So I'm going to send one more knight down to the south to help with that city down there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. We'll get the catapult to move up to help. You are going... You're going to go south as well, actually, and you're going to park here. You'll come this way. That should help these guys. I could do damage this turn. I'd rather wait until next turn. And... You have to watch out for the samurai. You stay there defending that city. So we're going to let him kill the city again. Because the objective is to use the flipping of this city back and forth to get rid of this caravel. I'm going to get you out of the city. You're going to pull back. You're going to go there. 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 And now we have our cavalry laid out in a reasonable format. I think I can continue to cycle around this city to get a little bit more units on the front. Now, for example, you can keep moving. Uh, let's repair the water mill. I just want to get building repairs done. Let's go here with you and then here with you. Shoot there and attack there. You can attack the city and you can kill the city. Okay, we will be keeping this city and we are going to move Amani into that new city that is Yokohama. It means there's only minus one loyalty. We'll repair the monument and then we're going to start moving on Kyoto. You guys all stay there. You're going to take Barding to heal up a little bit. You're going to stay fortified there. Money is still a little bit tight, but we should be fine. We do have the um, gold maintenance card locked in. And... In an ideal world, we would pillage that. Can you do this? Yes, you can. Okay. Let's shoot Palenki. Let's attack there. Bring you closer. You go into that city and heal up for a couple of turns. You could attack and then heal. And you can attack and heal. So we'll just get that little bit of extra damage in. You're waiting for two more turns for Magnus to be fully established. You are coming up here to repair that. So we'll just kind of slowly move you up this way. You're hanging out here. Not really much use for chariots at this point. Kind of have to use our knights. I guess you can kind of hold tiles and eat some damage. Okay, I wasn't expecting the samurai. I'm not sure where he came from. He might have been in the water or something. Okay, so we took Palanque. Let's go ahead and rest up. Let's get a good flank on this guy. We'll do a minor victory. You're going to heal up. We will keep this city because there's a harbor and a holy site in it. We'll go ahead and get repairs going. Some more good stuff over here in terms of capturing. Get that kill, or at least close to a kill. Let's get our archer moving. Up to Yokohama, and we'll get you to park there. You're going to come there. Okay. So it looks like he didn't want to kill this city. I'm still going to hang around here for just one more turn, just to make sure that city doesn't die. Let's get the battering ram moving up now. He hasn't built any walls yet, but I'm expecting him to maybe have walls by the time we get around to uh, fighting him. Yeah, that's pretty expected. He would attack there. I can pull this knight back and heal. I was pretty sure that I would survive. Um, and we should be able to kill with this knight attacking this way. Looks like he's having trouble with barbarian horsemen, which is really, really nice. So let's kill here. You're going to pull back, take your promotion and heal up there. 
you're going to promote with crew weapons. You're going to attack there. I'm going to steal that settler. I'm going to make sure we get us around on this city. You go there. Now this city is pretty well defended, so I'm going to need to use a combination of attrition using these and mass attacks from my horse cavalry knights things. Those things, you know the ones I'm talking about. Uh, let's get ourselves an Ordu. Let's move you to the right one. Let's bring this cavalry over to help. I'm going to start attacking that city next turn. You're going to come this way to try and deal with this. Uh, you're going to get moving. You're going to hang out here. I'm going to move one of you guys to keep you there because this guy can take up that position now. In fact, I could probably move two of these guys safely up into the front line. Oh, Magnus has been established, so we'll chop here to finish that district. Get us a plus four uh, gold income, which is very helpful. We're going to finish the watermill. Uh, we're going to finish the watermill and then chop the market next turn. So the samurai attacked my chariot there. We're going to try to do a bunch of damage to the city this turn. There's a little chunk of damage. That would be a death. Don't want to be low health. Let's go ahead and repair that commercial hub. Let's go up to level 3 with Antioch. That'll give me access to some knowledge. It'll also give me uh, some extra gold when I finish my marketplaces. So let's get you moved up a little bit. And you're going to move up as well. You're going to hang out in the city and fortify. Okay, we need to actually deal with some of this crap over here. I could probably safely upgrade more chariots. Somebody asked me why I didn't upgrade these to Keshigs. You you can't upgrade chariots into Keshigs. You, you just can't. There is no upgrade from unit. There's an upgrade from unit here. Up, up Replaced our upgrades from heavy chariot. You know what I mean? Upgrade some more card. Upgrades from Heterioi. You know, this can't be upgraded from. This cannot be. So, as I, I find a lot of people try to point out mistakes that I've made and when it's actually like they just don't they don't have enough knowledge to actually realize why i didn't do something this something it's just an observation i've noticed it a couple of times people are like why didn't you do this it's like well it's, it's not actually possible to do that thing um we'll go ahead and heal up here or, or or it doesn't matter it's it's usually one of the two either you can't do it or it doesn't matter uh i would like a bunch of farms in here to help the city grow so I'm thinking a farm here would be okay and we'll do just like a bunch of farms in around here and we're going to chop out this market that'll bring it down to one turn very nice you're going to hang out there just for a little while okay you can't quite get them you're going to move this way you're going to pillage this farm to stay healthy And you're going to do what? I guess I could chop out the Ordu on one of these hill mines. That seems fine. And if if he comes out to attack me, that gives me an opportunity to get free damage on him. Don't think I want to... Maybe I could do farms here. Maybe. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to put farms here? Or would I rather use this um, build charge on something more productive? Let's see. I'm not really sure how much more productive I can be. I could buy that gold. That would be a decent tile. I could improve the silver. Actually, yeah, I think improving the silver is a good move here. You hold on there, and we'll go to the next turn. Okay, so I'm glad I kept these two knights around to keep this uh, controlled. Changdragupta has made peace with Candy. Okay, there's Theology. All right. 
Let's shoot that city. Let's attack there. Let's kill this unit. Let's pull you back a tile. Well, actually, I want you to go there now, but I've already moved you. Let's take the barding promotion. Let's move you to there. Let's move you to there. Move this settler back until we find somewhere to put him. Probably plop them down around here or something, see if we can get those turtles. Although I might already have a copy of turtles, I do. Okay, so that's probably not necessary. Um, I don't mind waiting one more turn for this. Okay, so that actually killed the samurai. Okay, we're going to keep that city. Loyalty is fine. We've got two more cities it looks like to take out. Uh, we're going to repair that monument. And over here, we're going to grab the water mill, I think. This city definitely needs builders and stuff later, but for now, we're just going to improve some basic stuff. I think I could get an encampment and like a pretty decent encampment like over here, maybe. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put our encampment? No, you know what we need more? We need, uh, we need gold income, so I think I'm going to grab a commercial hub in here. I will grab the watermill first, though, because plus one food, plus one production is pretty nice. Um, right, we finished the market in here. Let's go ahead and build the encampment for the Ordu. Don't need an aqueduct. You're going to head up this way, and you are heading up this way also. Let's just let him kill that city. We're going to harvest here. That will finish another builder. Just We'll just quickly develop this city's land. Let's make sure we take all these tiles off of Shenyang. Just to minimize how many of its tiles it'll, we lose when we inevitably lose that city. Um, we're going to like just fill this with farms. And that will give the city a decent growth rate. I'm going to unlock all these, put a bunch of farms down here, and that will make the city grow up to its population limit and also allow it to just work these mines much better. And... I'm going to grab another couple of traders. This city is just building infrastructure for me. Well, I guess it's actually more efficient to build just builders in here. Seven charge builders are nice. Uh, we're going to chop here. That'll get that Ordu closer to being finished. You wait there. You wait there in case that city flips. You're going to come over here to help shoot that city. You're going to come here and attack. I should have had you there for the adjacency bonus. You're going to attack there. We'll go to the next unit. Can I get you out of the way to get this a little bit closer? Catapults are my most efficient units in terms of taking cities. Because um, they don't take damage and they do have bonus damage against cities. And they also upgrade into really important units later. Okay, that's fine. Losing, losing chariots at this point is not a big deal. Okay, we finished an Ordu. That's going to give us some score. I would like to grab my granary in here just because it's a really, really nice di uh, building that gives a lot of growth and housing. Um, let's pull back some of these wounded units to more reasonable positions and then start pushing forward the um, bigger and scarier high health units. You go there. You go there. You pop into that city and heal up. I think you could probably become a knight if I had the money, but I don't. Ah, I can make a canal city. Right here. And we shall do that thing. Except I want to manually control you down there, so cancel your move. So you don't get caught. By silliness. Okay, I could attack that city, I'm not going to. We'll put a mine there for the extra production. You're going to fortify there. We'll just fortify these units in position now. This guy's pretty high health, so we'll move him up. This guy's also high health, so we'll move you up. 
And you're just going to keep moving as well. I think I'm going to park you there to defend that city a little bit. We'll put a farm down there. Growing eight turns, we lose f some production. It's not the end of the world, but we'll grow much faster. You guys are all just hanging out. Let's kill here. You may as well defend that city. Make this caravel take a bit more damage trying to fight it. Make peace. No peace. I want your empire. Thank you. Appreciate it, my dude. Somehow this warrior survived. I don't know. All right, now we have the chivalry policy, so we can build units faster if we want. It's an option. Um, I don't think I need Limitania anymore. I have Conscription. And now I can build units faster. So I think this is all perfectly reasonable. Let's choose our Civic now. In terms of the government that I'd like to run, would I like to run monarchy? I don't think so. I think I'd rather run autocracy for a little bit longer. Monarchy has technically better cards, but I think I would much rather run... Merchant Republic. Now that I have the card. Let's just slowly work on a granary in there. Let's get an Ordu for the production and housing. You're gonna able to be finally saved. That reminds me of that story of like the Japanese soldiers from World War II who like were, were still fighting the war like 30 years on because they never got the order to come home. That's what this warrior was, except it was more like a thousand years. <laughs> it's been over there fighting the war. All right, one more kill should do it. There we go. Alright, choose our production monument. You go there. I'm just going to get you to park there. We'll kill this guy. You're going to come around this way. So, this was meant to be a different kind of map. Uh, but just the way things worked out, I think I'm actually kind of happy with how, how weird this game is. There is a knight. We're going to get him to fortify there. Let's get this guy out of the city so this caravel can attack it again. Let's just do a tiny chunk of damage to him. And... Okay, so we have some really good food tiles now. So it'll grow in six turns and still work at a reasonable number of, of these tiles. Um, could do another farm triangle in here. This city now has plenty of housing. It's going to want an entertainment district to... Um, now that's a really good industrial zone. So I don't want to put the entertainment district there. Um, I could put the entertainment district here. So I think that's actually a reasonable spot because the city has an amenity problem. Yeah, let's try to get those amenities up to keep the city productive. It's taking a little while to get that, but it'll be fine. Okay, I want to send a builder up to Urumqi or Urumqi or whatever it's called. Urumku or Urumqi. I I have no idea how to say these cities' names. Okay, don't don't judge me for not knowing how to say city names. <laughs> All right. Um. So now we we need to start exploring, and that's why we're going up to cartography. Uh. So I would like to get my hands on a couple of galleys to upgrade into boat units. Now, in terms of yeah, this is this so this is where I want to be going to be able to produce those units faster, right? 
I'm going to need to start producing a navy as well as a land army to try to find my way around the world and find the people I want to kill. Bit of a bit of a weird game, but I'm you know, pretty happy with it so far. Which is something I've already said recently, <laughs> but I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. All right, let's get a heal up there. I'm going to go to the next turn. Okay, I'm curious if there's anything through the fog here. There is a samurai here I need to deal with. Let's just take a moment to heal up here. We'll bring the catapults down. Do little chunks of damage to hopefully get them a bit more experience. We won't quite attack yet. An ordu has been completed over here. Um, I would like to get a harbor to start producing boats more efficiently in here. And you're going to grab the watermill and the granary. And you're going to place a commercial hub right here. Let's get you to wait. Battering ram. I don't think I really need the battering ram anymore. Okay, nice. Let's get that kill. Let's keep shooting this guy. Let's head this way. You heal up there. Wait, what does this do again? If I own it, plots are 20% cheaper to purchase for any civilization that owns this. Very nice. Ooh, marsh adjacencies, eh? Very cool. I wasn't expecting these natural wonders, but again, I'm okay with it. I'm living with it. Uh, I would like to put a farm there. This guy has three built charges. It might be good to head over here and put a mine there. Although technically a grassland lumber mill is better than a grassland mine in the late game. But the grassland mine is better now. And I get to do a chop, so it works a little bit better in my favor. I'm just going to have you hang out there for a moment while I think about what I want to do with you guys. Okay, a granary has been completed here in Jian. Uh... I didn't want to build ancient walls, damn it. There is a plus four commercial hub here, which might be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, city has really, really bad production. I mean, it makes sense. The city has crappy housing. But maybe it would be worth it to dework one of these and work this instead. Basically double the production in this city. Um... Yeah, city can't really grow anyway, and I have plenty of culture. So I think I'm going to prioritize getting just a little bit more production in here to help it grow and develop more reasonably. Survive, little guy. Kill that guy there. Shoot this city. Okay, now I have flanking bonuses and he should be easy to kill. We'll get rid of that scout. Slam our units into the city. Missed out on a little bit of combat bonus. Probably would have won me the city this turn. Oh well. I really don't like it when fortified units ask me to give them new orders. It's like, you're fortified. Why, why would you need new orders? <laughs> I gave you your orders. Many, many turns ago, I told you to fortify. Things have not changed. Stay fortified. Thank you. Alright. 
we'll go to the next turn. He would give me 50 gold per turn. That is a no-no. That is a hell to the no no. I want those cities for myself. There is nothing but a There's shipbuilding. I want to make sure we get as much experience on these guys as we can. Okay, there goes Japan. We got plus five error score. We'll keep that city. Okay, so we killed Japan. So that's an interesting place, I think, to call an end to this episode. So we're going to have to have a think about what our next moves are. We want to get ourselves some caravels um, to explore the world, find where the other players are. I know Arabia is down here, so I could probably run down there and have a fight with him. There's nobody down here, which is all like this whole map is just weird, which is kind of exciting. It's kind of weird. It's cool. I like it. Um, so we've killed two players. I think we have now an empire capable of competing. Uh, we're making 38 signs per turn, which is pretty on par with some of these other people. Arabia is kind of far and ahead right now. Um, in terms of culture, we're similar. We're making, you know, probably one of the top cultures in the game right now. And that's that's pretty good to have, too, because it means we'll get important texts like um, nationalism and uh, mobilization at reasonable times um yeah i mean we currently have one of the biggest if not the biggest armies in the game i mean religious victory is pretty irrelevant because we can't win a religious victory but still worth noting okay i'm going to call that the end of the episode i want to thank you guys very much for watching i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this series so far please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel and remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback other than that i want to say i love you all very much and i'll see you next time Bye bye